Get the camera and pictures we took of his special code. And get out through that cop door, the back room. Looks like those crooks tried to drown you. Two of them made their getaway. They have photographs of our secret codes. Here, Commander, take this gun. Thanks, Blake. Those scorpion crooks got out of this mill with our secret codes that escape in our car. Can you navigate, Chapman? Yes, Commander. All right. Mike, let us take a look up here. There's one of them. It's heading for our car. Let him go, Red. He'll be as hard to catch as a rattler in this thick jungle growth. The photograph codes, Commander. Are you sure? This is the camera they use to photograph our code books. We'll take them back and have them developed to make certain, and then burn them. See, if those are the codes, we've spoiled another of the Scorpion's little plans. Oh, this was a big plan, Red. If the Scorpion had our code, he could intercept our messages and then send out false ones, without our knowing it. Here comes Mike. We searched that whole mill from top to bottom, and there's nary a sight of them heathen. We'll have that place thoroughly investigated later. Right now, we've got to get back to the warehouse and develop these films. Yes. About time you showed up, Prindle. Then 22's been asking for you. Stole the gas. Wait a minute, Prindle. Where's the code photographs? Winslow and his pals jumped me, creased my shoulder with a piece of lead. Took the camera and films. shoulder fixed up. I can go to the hospital myself. I'm on my way to tell the submarine captain that the undersea oil well is fixed and he can fuel up. Bingo! Scorpion's waiting for a report. The Scorpion ain't gonna like Pringle's report. You can't blame him. With Winslow free, there's always a chance of him finding this underwater sub base. Yeah. It'd be a shame to have that sailor Winslow interfering with this setup. So you'd better get over to the hospital room and have Doc Hunter fix up that shoulder. M-22 standing by. M-22. Again you have failed. This time you must carry out my instructions or suffer the Scorpion's punishment. Work on the United States Naval Base continues without interruption in spite of the fact that Don Winslow is dead. It must be stopped. Do you understand? Yes, Master. But I must report that Winslow is still alive. He escaped from the accident which we thought had killed him. Alive? Then he outsmarted you again. Can't you realize that Winslow threatens our undersea base and Tenjita? He must be taken prisoner and his destroyer, the 620, must be destroyed. You, M-22, are not to be suspected. Contact Koloka, the witch doctor at his native village. Remind him of his promise to help us. Use him. Winslow's disappearance must look like a native job. You have heard my orders. Made them. Scorpion is sure plenty sore. He has reason to be. We've got to obey his orders or... Well, you know the penalty. What's this about Koloka? Oh, he's an ambitious old crook who wants to take over the tribe from the rightful chief, Tambana. I don't see how that's going to help us. If we promise Koloka to help him get control of the natives, he'll take care of Winslow and his associates for us. I have an idea. If it works, it'll make Koloka do anything we ask him. I'll contact him right away. We better take Corley. He understands and speaks the native tongue. We may need him.
What Scorpion man want? Scorpion said you would help us. Koloka had given his word. Scorpion must help Koloka to be chief. Tom Banner, not good king. Scorpion is ready to keep his word. All right, boys, open up the outfit. Hand me the mic. Take that loudspeaker and put it back in the idol's head and it won't be seen. Okay. Now, speak into that low. No. Go ahead. Try it again. It won't hurt you. Talk box. Make look like our great god talk. That's the idea. You can use it to make your idol, Monakai. Tell your people to get rid of Tom Banner and make you king. Coloco, help Scorpion men. Good. All right, boys. Hook up the outfit back of the idol. But Coloco can use it without being seen. You know Commander Winslow? Him big Navy man? That's the one. I'll bring him here with his friends. You keep him alive as a prisoner and throw the others in the ocean to the sharks. Many native people plenty sick. Kaloka make native people believe the white man Winslow make their idol angry. That's a good idea. Oh, Red? Yeah? Put some of that stuff on my back for me, will you please? Oh, all right. You know, I hope this idea of yours is worth all this trouble. Suffering, Snakes, will you look at the body? God, <laughs> what on earth? I have a hunch that with this disguise, I'll be able to investigate that old sea mill without much interference. Hello, folks. Tell me where I can find uh, Commander Winslow. Hello, Merlin. I hope you'll pardon my disguise. Well, it's a very clever get-up. I hope it will help me in my efforts to learn something about the Scorpions gang. I may be able to help you. I wish you could. One of my native workmen told me that his people blame the sickness on the presence of us white people on the island. Hmm, that might prove serious. Now, this fear among the natives may be caused by the Scorpions' agents. Why do you say that? Well, this native said that he saw a number of white men in an old ruin near their village. They were working around an idol which the natives hold very sacred. Don, my boy, that's the clue we've been looking for. It may be. Oh, Misty, call Chapman for me, will you please? Merlin, just where is this old ruin located? It's on a cliff overlooking the village. I'd be glad to take you to it. Fine, let's go and investigate right now. Well, Don, what about this get-up? I'll leave it on. I may be able to investigate the old sea mill later. Well, Chapman, I want you to go with us. We may need you. Aye, aye, sir. All right, Red. Mike? Miss Colby, uh, I'm in something of a jam. A number of my native workmen's children are sick, and I thought perhaps oh, you might... Of course, Mr. Blake. I'd be glad to help them. I'll get my kit. I'll get it for you. I hate to impose on you like this, but my company doctor's overworked. Oh, well, don't give it a thought. If these children don't recover, the superstitious natives might blame it on our naval construction job. Thank you, Misty. <laughs> Winslow swallowed the bait, all right. Yeah, and they don't crook Coloco do the rest. Why is Merlin sticking with them? So that Winslow will think Merlin's one of the victims when Coloco's natives jump them. And then when the natives sacrifice the others, Coloco will turn Merlin loose, huh? Better than that. The local wall Winslow for us to turn over to Scorpion. Then he'll fix it for Chapman to escape. Why let him escape? Because Chapman will report that the natives did the job. Boy, what a setup. Yeah, looks a little weird. Let's investigate it. I'd be careful. If there are any natives around, I'm sure they'd object to our touching their idol. We'll take that chance. Look, perfectly 
Saint Martin dictaphone set. Your hunch was right, Merlin. used as a sacrificial altar to the native idol or god that still stands inside the temple. That must be the idol Merlin was talking about. I suppose Don and the others are in there now. We can soon find out. More of Winslow's friends. Won't he be surprised when he sees me walking in on the investigation? <laughs> I'll tell him you treated those sick children so well I brought you to see the temple as a reward. They must be sacrificed for the others. Get Kaloka quick. I'd certainly like to get out of this dungeon and investigate this place. It might be the Scorpion's hideout. From what I overheard, I don't think so. Did you hear them? He didn't say what they're going to do with us. That old witch doctor told the natives we were to be sacrificed. We've got to get out of here. They're Winslow's friends. Capture them and sacrifice them with the others. Coloco, do what you say. That was a long climb. It seems awfully quiet. I wonder where Don and the others are. Let's go in and find out. I think so. angry. They demand the lives of the white people. Let the drums begin our blood ceremony. We're no better off than we were before. Sure, and you're right. It would be suicide to jump off of this cliff. Sure, and you're wrong, Mike. I can make that dive. No, Don, please don't try. I'm sure I can make it. Then I'll sneak back to the temple, get the guns, and if I'm lucky, we can make a break for it. Look, 
charts. Just in time, Red. Looks like those crooks tried to drown you. Two of them made their getaway. They have photographs about secret codes. Here, Commander, take this gun. Thanks, Blake. Those scorpion crooks got out of this mill with our secret codes that escape in our car. Can you navigate, Chapman? Yes, Commander. All right. Mike, let us take a look up here. There's one of them. It's heading for our car. Get the camera and pictures we took of his special codes. Get out through that top door, the back room. 